Benny Carson is seven. His mother wants him to be able to walk home from the bus through this park alone. But the Cinnaminson School Board won't let him. I simply wanted my son to get off the bus. I grew up in Vermont. We walked everywhere. We walked home. We, it wasn't a big deal. When he wasn't allowed to get off the bus, I asked the superintendent, um, I asked the transportation director, and then I went into policy. She's talking about the school's transportation policy. It requires her to be at the bus stop, or else her son will be taken back to school. Hi, baby bear. Hi. <laughs> Carson's a school teacher and can't always make it to the bus stop in time, so she has her son dropped off at daycare. Let's say, forget the daycare, let's okay. pretend he's going here. Gets off the bus at his assigned bus stop. Mm -hmm. What's that walk? 900 feet. What's in that 900 feet? Are there, you know, gangs and mines and, you know, people having knife fights and the jets and the sharks? It's a very quiet neighborhood. There's just a park and there's a swing set. Carson's months of appeals have all been for naught. The superintendent told her in an email that, quote, our policy is not in place to protect the district from liability. It's in place because we believe it's the best practice to ensure safety and security for all of our students. Your mom is like fighting this battle so you can actually walk home from the bus. What do you think about that? I think it's actually pretty weird. You think it's weird? Yeah. Why? It's like, why do we have to fight a battle against walking home from a bus stop? Carson is part of the growing free-range parenting movement. They reject what they see as a culture that unnecessarily coddles kids. They argue that as the world has gotten safer, kids are no longer allowed to just be kids. It's not about the 900 feet, really, is it? No. It's about the fact that we are raising these children who don't know what to do with themselves. Wait, what are we making? We're making fajitas. I want to use... Careful, wash your fingers. This one. Okay. Free-range parenting is allowing your child to fall down and allowing them experiences where they can learn firsthand, not hovering and telling them. Children don't learn by telling. Forward. There you go. Did you poll parents? Are they mostly on your side? I don't think they're on my side. I, I do think that I'm a little bit rogue here, but I think that that's my choice. That's my call. So how long of a walk would it be from here to your house? Maybe two minutes. So how old's your son? My older son will be seven on Friday. Okay. What would you think about letting him walk home from here? Absolutely not. I miss my childhood where we would disappear all day. Go on our bikes, ride around the neighborhood. We had a creek behind our house and we would just follow the creek, walk along it all day long. But you wouldn't let your no son idea. do that now? No. No. What changed? I mean, you can hop on Facebook and see who's on vacation, who's letting their kids walk home from school. Um, you know, kids are on Snapchat showing pictures of themselves alone at a park. Within seconds, you know, if you're a child predator, within seconds, you can be at a location where a child is and know that there are no adults there. Such fears are understandable, but they're not supported by the data. There are approximately 75 million children in the U.S., in 2011, about 65 were abducted by total strangers. Carson appealed the superintendent's decision to the state, but officials told her it was a local issue. I'm trying to be as respectful and follow, you know, the, the due process and do what I can, but I have a feeling that in the end, you know, he's got 12 months. He'll be allowed when he hits third grade. Which is two months from now, I believe. Wait, no. A year and two months. Oh my! But you're ready now? You're ready now to go, you know, free range. Yeah. What happens next? The state doesn't really seem to want to be involved in anything local, so it really is going to end up m meaning whatever the board says is going to end up being the law. But if someone offered to do this pro bono, would you, would you fight it? Absolutely. They're trampling on my rights to raise my kid as I see fit. 